Hello everyone, Mr. Alberonin here again, and today I'm here for a breakdown on Muscular. Now, I didn't think I'd be doing this one for a while, because I wasn't really interested, but I'm glad I played him, because he's really fun. He's such a brawler character, and I find him a really interesting brawler, because he has, like, different stages of brawlers, with his different levels of... He can, like, charge up his muscles and become even more muscular than he already is. He can become really ridiculous, and see he has some... Like, the more leveled up you get, the more, like, classic brawler he gets. Like, he has huge damage, easy, huge chunks of damage, super high, he can, like, sacrifice everything for a big chunk of damage. Or you can just stay in, like, normal mode, and be, like, a regular character, and do, like, decent damage and be kind of, like, fast and different speeds. And if you're somewhat leveled up, you can get, like, in between. I find it really interesting how he has, like, a balance of, <laughs> of like, OP muscular guy um, gameplay. Anyways, let's get into his buttons. So his regular attack string is a three-hitting attack string. The third hit just launches your opponent into the air. You can dash cancel after the third hit to get some combos that way, or you can just cancel it into his buttons, like his this dragon punch of his. Or you can dash cancel or whatever. And obviously you can dash cancel after any point you want. Okay, his air attack string is a lot worse. <laughs> this is it. That, that, it's a punch. He just like slaps you with his arm, and then that's all he has in the air. Which is, I think it balances him a lot, so it stops him from doing crazy combos. Because he would be ridiculous if he had like, air extensions as well. So you're just gonna do like, the button into like, some of his quirk things. And you can still get like, high damage combo like, from the air if you want. You just have to know how to extend and what you can cancel into what. So see, I can cancel that grab into this dragon punch and get decent damage from the air. Whatever. So that. Yeah. Okay. His armor attacks. Um, in his regular state, it's not that good. He can't combo into it, but he can combo out of it. So I can do it here. Like if I did it in the neutral and caught someone trying to do something, I could combo out of it and do my normal combos. Um, out of it but you can't combo into it in his regular state. From the air, it's just a slam to the ground. It does good damage, and it's a yellow attack. Very similar to overhauls and some other um, air armor attacks, but yeah. Slam to the ground. Okay, his red attack is <laughs> very similar to his yellow attack in the air. It's a slam to the ground, and it actually does a lot of damage. It's pretty fast. It doesn't have great range. It has, or um, maybe... Uh, yeah, average range, maybe a little bit above average. He dashes forward before doing it, but you're usually going to be doing it up close, because it's actually quite fast compared to other red attacks, so a lot of the time you can catch people off guard, especially if you do, like, I don't know, some kind of weird mix-ups or something into it, and yeah. It's a, it's a good red attack. It does good damage. Even though you don't get combos off of it, it complements his moveset. It would be good if you could combo off of it, but he would be too OP if you could. Okay, now let's get into his buttons. So, he's re uh, really done his attack string. Okay, so one of Ma Muscular's main things that is core to his playstyle is his quirk form. So this move, it looks a bit weird when you do it, like nothing happens when you do it. If you hit the opponent with it, he will charge his arm, or if you hold it down for long enough, he will charge his arm. So see, I held it down for a decent amount of time there, and he's charged one of his arms. And if I just discharge that real quick, so now he has no arms. If I hit the opponent with it, he'll instantly charge it up, so I don't have to do the wait time. Also, if I hit him when he blocks with it, which is how you're going to get his charged arms most of the time, like if you see the opponent block anything, just go into this, and you've done a safe move, and you're, you have an arm up, so you have one of his muscle arms. So, what does this arm do? Obviously, it makes him have slightly increased damage. That does more damage than it would have done before. It would usually do about 6,500. Now it's doing 7,100, which is a big increase. And it also means that he can combo into his yellow attack and out of it. So he has this almost infinite like string, but it's not an infinite because he can only do it twice. So a lot of people end up rage quitting me once they see rage quitting against me when they see I do this once because they're like, "Oh my god, you're abusing an infinite!" But it's not really an infinite if I can only do it twice. I'm not getting ridiculous damage off of it like a lot of, like the stupid sidestep infinites that I wish would get patched. 
but yeah, so when he's in the buff state, the, the main reason is he gets increased damage and he has better combos because he can do his yellow attack, combo into it, and do some sort of loops like that. And see, that was 9000 damage and zero dash cancels, just because I have the charged arm. Now, you can actually do it again, and obviously, if you want to hold it down for a really long time, like if you've hit them with a meteor blow and they're really far away, I can actually choose to charge up the whole thing, and now I have two arms charged up. And now, this makes him pretty slow, it's kind of like Kirishima, how he slows him down, but he does a lot of damage. So, and obviously, he still has the armor loops, where he can do two armor attacks from the ground. And see, that combo there, that was no dash cancels, does 10,700 damage, and it was pretty cheap as well. It, well, it was cheap, it did, was no dash cancel, I mean it was pretty easy. So two attacks, into armor attack, two attacks, into armor attack, and then two attacks, into his grab, and his dragon punch, which we'll, our buttons we'll get to later, is 10,700 damage, just because he had the double arm buff on. And obviously he can get the double arm buff off um, if you hit the opponent with it, it makes it faster as well. And when he has the double arms, when you press the Quirk 1 button, he has a new move, which is this Armored Punch that is an instant Meteor Blow, but it does tons of damage. 6,600 damage for one single attack is huge in this game, because that means that you can end any combo in that and you're getting a huge like addition to the end of the combo. So, in addition to him to having like a really weird high damage loops, you can end your combo in this massive punch and do 13,000 damage just because your opponent well, just because you had your charged muscles on it cost you zero dash cancels and you got 13,000 meter because you've managed to get both of your charged arms up and you can actually make it a bit more if I do something like this 13,600 damage there's no, definitely no wall splats or anything thank goodness 13,600 damage for zero dash cancels, zero plus ultra, and zero sidekicks. That's pretty intense if you ask me. <laughs> um, yeah, when he has a single arm, he has a tilt quirk one attack, which is this punch that's like an uppercut, and I mean, I don't find that much use for it. Um, it's something he only has access to when he has one arm. You can cancel it into his other buttons for some extended combos that way, but a lot of the time, if I have one arm, I'm going to be doing combos like this, with the armor loop, or trying to just combo into this, so I can get my dual arms up, because when I have dual arms, that's when it's action time. That's when Muscular is going in and doing crazy damage. Even if I don't um, use the um, Quirk 1 Massive Punch at the end, I can still get 10,700 damage, and I still have the arms up. So after I've done 10,700 damage, if you're unlucky enough to get hit by me again, I'm not even going to do the full combo this time, and I can just end anything in this, and then I'm getting another huge chunk of damage, and that's most of your life bar gone. It's crazy. Anyways, that's only one of his quirk buttons we've gotten into. So, he has a tilt quirk one, which is just his punch. It's pretty basic in his regular state. It's not something you're going to, like, ever use. It's not that good. It doesn't really lead to wall splats or anything. It just... It's slightly better when he has one muscle up, but it consumes the muscle arm, so I would never really recommend doing it. Okay, so now for his quirk 2, it is this dragon punch string that I'm, I'm sure you remember from Once Justice 1 as being really overpowered, but luckily they've patched it in this game and it's not as crazy. So it's a bit slower on startup, so it's not crazy fast. See, I press the button now and it, he goes up there, and so it's not too fast at all. It does decent damage and it is super, super, super good at getting a wall splat. So if I do something that doesn't even combo, like you can miss off of anything if I do it from back here, even if the first part doesn't hit, he's probably going to bounce the opponent yeah, up into the air and into the wall somehow. And then, yeah. So, it's good damage, and it's also just a really interesting, like, mobility tool, so if I think the opponent's gonna do something, I can almost use this as a yellow attack, because he'll dodge whatever they do, because they're on the ground. He'll jump up over it, and either hit them as he jumps up, or he'll come down and hit them, and if he hits them in the right way, they have a high chance of being meteor blow. So, it's a really crazy strong move, 
Um, it's something you're going to be using a lot in neutral since he doesn't have a projectile or anything. So he has to use this like rising punch and then straight punch a lot in his um, regular playstyle. Um, it's very unsafe on block. If I have the opponent set to action after guarding, I can get like instant punished. I can try to make it safe if I do a dash cancel into a sidestep. That's like what I found is the only way to make it safe. But other than that, you're like almost guaranteed to get punished. You can try to um. You can um dash cancel it on block to try and interrupt your opponent's punish. But even that I found is a bit inconsistent, and it can be really hard to time because you have to do like an instant dash cancel. It it can be pretty hard. But at least there is a way to make it safe, and then you can like punish your opponent for trying to punish you and failing so that's pretty good and yeah basically just because it's so good here I'll put the opponent on dash so he's running around if the opponent's trying to run around and like they're far away from you and they're trying to do buttons or something you can do this because it has really good um, tracking and it dodges a lot of things and it has a really large hitbox so like if your opponent nearly accidentally goes near you like see Bakugo wasn't even that close then but he got hit so yeah really good move to use in the neutral and also you're going to be ending combos in it because it does good damage you can combo it out of his grab which is his tilt part 2 and it does good damage and it's likely to lead to wall spikes which you can do something into even a charge into a combo sometimes that connects sometimes it doesn't it's a bit inconsistent but yeah wall splats easy combos good 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 very good <laughs> Um, his tilt quirk 2 is this grab, where he just grabs the opponent and flips them to the other side. It does good damage, and you can cancel it into his other quirk buttons, like his, his dragon punch, or if you're in supercharged state, you can um, cancel it into his like crazy armored punch to do great damage. And you can also combo it out of his air attack. So a lot of combos you're going to be doing is going to look like something like this. If you're in regular state, but you never really want to be in regular state and doing combos. If I'm in regular state, I'm just going to like sacrifice damage in order to get into my muscle state. Because that's where he really shines as a strong character. But yeah, this move, the, the grab, it can also be held to become a red attack. It does a bit more damage. It's obviously slower because you're charging it up to become a red attack. But yeah, it's really good. <laughs> It's a really good move to be used for combos. You can also get some like interesting combos with like re-landing um if you do two hits into it. Dash cancel. You can get oh, I'm messing it up now, but they're usually pretty easy. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. What is happening? Sorry. Hello? Okay. There we go. And they're usually pretty easy, and you can go into plus ultra or something after them. So it's a good way of getting good damage in order to go into your plus ultra attacks or whatever, because he's still on the ground. Um, <laughs> that wasn't optimal at all, but you can see you can get good damage that way. Okay, and now that we've done all of his buttons, we can get into his combos, and this is where muscular can be a bit crazy. So, as I was saying, you don't really want to be doing combos in normal state, because, I don't know, he's kind of, he's low tier in his regular form, you can do some combos into plus ultra by doing his, like, ground loops after dash cancel from this. And, but what am I, I'm doing most of the time, if I'm in regular state, is do three hits into his Dragon Punch, and oops, and you want to get a wall splat, sometimes it doesn't work if you're too close. Yeah, I'll do it from this side. So three hits into the Dragon Punch, and then you're really likely to get a wall splat, and then you can do the same thing if you want, actually no, you can't apparently. <laughs> But when you're on the ball, you have a lot of like possibilities of things you can do. You can go into a red attack. You can charge up muscles. Um, a lot of the time, you can. Um, if I've gotten a wall splat, 
I'll just do the charged muscles, and then sometimes you can get attacked like this, you can get an attack afterwards, and then you can get a cool combo like this, and you've charged your muscle all in one. Um, if you're not facing a wall, you can actually do two hits into his grab, and then do the dragon punch, and then you've turned around, and then you're facing a wall correctly. And yeah, so when you're on the wall, he's not going to get, like, extra huge amounts of damage. Um, a lot of the time, actually his, um, Tilt Quirk 2 grab is really good because it almost never Meteor Blows. So if I've done something like this, instead of the wall's flat, and you saw before when I tried to do a follow-up, it Meteor Blows. But if I do two hits into the grab, it shouldn't. See? And then he gets more damage that way. See, it's still pretty low when you're in, the, when you're in your low state, so a lot of the time, if I'm ever in this state, I just want to sacrifice my damage in order to go into my muscle state, because that's where he gets crazy. Okay, so now that I have one muscle arm on, I'll show what you can do with with a single muscle arm. So now I have my armor attack loops, so I can do two hits into armor attack, two hits into armor attack, two hits into tilt quirk to grab, into my quirk two string, and then I've got 9,000 damage, which is a bit below average damage, but it also didn't cost me a single dash cancel, which is pretty OP if you ask me. And obviously, since you're on the ground for a lot of that, you could throw in a plus ultra or whatever. But yeah, and you can also, oops, let me get the arm back. You can also um, end it early in order to go into the dragon punch, like for a wall splat. So yeah, if I've, like, yeah, pretend I've done the long combo, I've done two hits into the thing, I end in that, because then I, it won't meteor blow, and then I can do the combos on the wall. And yeah, so when he's, you always want to make sure you have a muscle arm on with muscular, like, if they block anything, just go two hits into this, and then you've got a muscle arm on. Like, nothing matters as long as you have a muscle arm. If you get punished, it doesn't matter, because you have really good high damage for no dash cancels, once you have one on. And yeah, so... Now I'm just going to go into his double muscle arms, because that is where he gets crazy fun. So now I'm in dual muscle arm mode, so I do lots more damage. I can do the same combos that I did in, with my single muscle arm, except they're just going to do more damage now. So, that string into the grab, into the quirk 2, dragon punches, and that does 10,700 damage, which is pretty crazy, guys. That was no dash cancels, 11,000 damage. That is what a lot of people would call OP if you didn't have to charge this up. It's pretty ridiculous. And a lot of people think this is an infinite, but it's definitely not. But it is very strong, don't... I'm not trying to downplay muscular here. And if you end in the dragon punch, then you still have the muscle arms on. Oh, but they, wa they do wear off after time. Let's see, if I do this combo here, I'll do it again for you. Two hits, into armor attack, into two hits, into armor attack, into two hits, into the quad two grab, into the quad two string. 10,700 damage, and I still have the muscle arms on, so I can go for another combo. And they are so dead if they get hit by anything. Yeah. And obviously you can go for your red attacks, they do even more damage when you have more muscle arms. But when you have the dual muscle arms, obviously, as I said before, oh, oops. He has access to this. This huge damage, um... Combo Ender, it's an automatic Meteor Blow, so you're never going to get a Wall Splat or anything, but you're getting huge damage. So obviously, you can add that to the end of his combos, in his charged up state. If you think you're running to the end of the time, because there is like a timer for how long he can be in muscle state. Oh, I missed time that, damn it. If you think you're near the end where your muscles are about to wear off, end your combos in that, and you're getting so, 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 so much damage. Thirteen thousand six hundred damage, zero dash cancels. <laughs> and obviously your muscle arms wear off, but this is where, um, if you're in regular state, you don't want to be doing like I see people doing some weird combos like a dash cancel into this, into uppercut, into dash cancel. But a lot of the time you're not going to want to do that because then you can save up for your plus ultra one. And as you can see, when you do your plus ultra one. 
he instantly has dual muscle arms, and it leads to a wall splat almost every time. And if you get the wall splat from the plus ultra, you can do his armor attack loops again. Just because he landed a plus ultra attack. Which is pretty crazy. <laughs> and yeah, so if you've been saving up your plus ultra meter, you can always just do like two hits. You just want to make sure you land the plus ultra so that you can have dual muscle arms on. Because then he's like in instant buff mode. And then, yeah, even if you. Whoa, 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 sorry. And yeah, so if your opponent's trying to like run around or do attacks or anything or trying to throw projectiles. Like, if you're in the muscled state, you always have access to this move here, which will just, like, it's an armored attack and it does tons of damage, so you'll just go through anything. It's a great round ender. So yeah, you always want to make sure you either have time to charge up your, um, super arms, or that you have a plus ultra, so that you can just have them instant charge up. So if Bakugo presses any buttons and I see them, I'll go into this, 6,600 damage. If he had low health, because I've been doing my crazy combos, he's like instantly dead. And, obviously, with these supports that I have here, I can combo out of my plus ultra one. And I didn't bring out my support for some reason. Oh, here we go. It does say that it resets, but the opponent has to just guard in order to stop it from happening again. So it is actually, I think, practically a true combo, because I haven't seen anyone actually just guard that gap, but maybe it's just because they don't expect it. But the point is that you can practically get a combo, like if you pretend that this combos, it doesn't matter that the extension afterwards isn't doing that much damage. I mean, sometimes I guess this, I guess I can see why you think there's no point in doing the extension after the plus ultra one, especially if you're facing a wall, then definitely don't do the extension after it, because it is like a super good wall splat tool, because they go flying into the air, and then they're in a wall splat, and then you can do your combos. And then these are absolutely short tickets. And then you've gotten 12,000 damage from your plus ultra, and you also have dual arms on. So now I can do super easy combos, for super, free, and you're dead. <laughs> like, muscular is just so powerful and so, so scary, it, like, in the right hands. So yeah, that's basically all I have to say about muscular. Um, one of his main weaknesses is that his guard pressure isn't actually that good. Like, his regular attack string doesn't take that much guard, um, like, his stamina can pick gauge. This dragon punch, like, does practically nothing to the guard meter, like, see, it didn't, it's like it didn't even touch him. So, that's not something you're gonna use to be breaking their guard at all. Obviously, unless it's already, like, on zero. See, look, you can't even see it take anything down. His yellow attack doesn't really take that much. It, it does it take nothing. Yeah, so. This move where he charges up, it doesn't take any stamina. Any of the stamina. So, he's definitely not a character that you're gonna be using to break the guard a lot, and that's why you're gonna be doing a lot of red attacks and stuff, because they can guard you a lot. When you're in this mode, I'm pretty sure this punch does a lot of, yeah, it does a big, big, big chunk of, of, um, of guard meter, but yeah, I don't think this works, but, oh yeah, it does, oh, but that didn't even guard break, so yeah, he's definitely not a good guard break character, but that's why you want to be mixing up, like, if I do two attacks, and then I cancel into this, wait, uh, if I like do two attacks, and they think it's gonna be the third attack coming just because I'm slow slow. You can't tell like if this is the, my third slow hit or if it's a new move coming. But they guessed wrong. It was a red attack, and now I get combos. And then they've just lost an easy huge amount of damage. It didn't cost me any dash cancels, whatever. So that's where he's balanced, he doesn't have very good guard pressure, but Muscular is still super strong, guys. Do not try and downplay him. I, I see through your cunning grooves, muscular players. He is super strong. He's super fun. And I just love how he has different ways, like different levels of OPness. So you can either be a fast, like, average character, or you can slowly get more and more buff and slow and brawler character. And I find that is a really fun playstyle. I can choose, depending on my opponent, what, what works best. And yeah, this is his plus ultra 2. 
I don't do it that often, because a lot of the time I use my plus ultra 1 to get my charged arms off. The plus ultra 2 does it as well, but obviously it costs double the resources. But yeah, that was my muscular breakdown, guys. He's super fun. He's crazy, crazy, crazy fun. I did not expect this from muscular. He just has so many... He's such a classic roller. And I love that he has these things that make people rage quit. This thing that seems like an infinite. And in a lot of the ways it is almost infinite, especially with how much damage it does. But he's just so ridiculous. I think he's actually, even though he does huge, huge, huge damage, I think he's pretty balanced. Because he's pretty weak in a lot of ways. He doesn't have good movement at all. This is as far as he dashes when you press the dash button. His walk speed is kind of slow. He doesn't do good guard pressure. But he has really good damage if he's charged up. And yeah, he, he's just a fun character that can do some big scary damage. Anyways, guys, that was my breakdown for Muscular. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.